Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. While we're here in the UK, we've managed to do a lot of traveling and we had the most amazing nine day vacation in the south of France. We've been to Paris before, but this region has always been on our bucket list and we are so happy that we made it. We explored 11 different places over the course of our vacation and we want to show you what they're all about. Our trip started in the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera, where we explored a number of cities including Nice, Ezzy, Monaco, Menton, and Antibes. In this video, we leave the Côte d'Azur and head towards the Verdun Gorges. If you've enjoyed the trip so far, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. With that being said, let's get to it. We said bye to our hotel in Nice and made our way over to our rental car company to grab a new member of the trip. Meet Blueberry, a 2021 Renault Clio that joined us along for the ride. The plan for the day was to drive to the Verdun Gorges, spend most of the day there, and then end the night in Moustiers Saint Marie. It took two and a half hours to get to the gorges from Nice, but we enjoyed the beautiful scenery along the way. <laughs> Our first stop was Point Sublime, a viewpoint that overlooks the Verdun Gorge. It was an amazing view. We quickly stopped for lunch and then headed over to the observation deck for these views. It was now time to head into the gorge itself. We hopped back into the car and made our way to the Pont de Galatez, an iconic bridge that grants a picturesque panoramic view of the ravine. We parked the car at a water activity spot nearby and then walked over. All right, guys, we made it to the Verdun Gorges and they are beautiful. Take a look here. People are kayaking, canoeing on their paddle boards. Yeah, just admiring the view on this bridge at the moment. Yeah, we're here on this pretty iconic bridge, I think, where most pictures you see of the gorges are taken from. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. After soaking in the view, we headed back to the water activity spot and rented a paddle boat for two hours. This was such a fun experience and totally worth it. We definitely recommend getting a paddle boat to go into the gorge. Oh, 
gorgeous. So nice. So cool. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. <laughs> Right when we brought our paddle boat back, it started to drizzle, and so we hurried to our next stop where we would be spending the night, Lustier St. Marie. Our hotel room was really quaint and cozy, and we waited out the rain before we explored the town. Lustier St. Marie is known as one of the most beautiful villages in France. The chapel, old village walls, and pastel colored tiles add a really quaint atmosphere and sense to the town. Early historical records indicate that monks had settled in these mountains here in the 5th century, hence the name Moustiers. We made our way to Chaudin for dinner, ordered some beers and seafood dishes. After dinner, we explored the town a little bit more and then called it a night. Next morning, we woke up early to do a little bit more exploring and get an aerial perspective of this cute town. We then headed back to the hotel for breakfast, which was a buffet style, checked out, and then made the hike up the stairs to the chapel. It was quite a steep hike and we stopped along the way to admire the views. This chapel was built on top of a temple that had been constructed in 470 AD and indicates the persistent sacred character of this town. This town has quite a turbulent history, being an important pilgrimage site for some and a source of pillaging for others over the centuries. After visiting the chapel, we made our way back down the hill and explored the town square and the various shops. And that was our visit to the Verdun Gorges. In our next video, we'll take you to Provence and explore some of the cute towns in this region. See you there.